Hi everybody, it's your boy Nesto with another Test Action So Massacre build video. Danny has finally arrived. He's super powerful yet quite interesting character. In this video, I'll guide you how to use Danny, but also this insane build that I'll be using with him as well. So without further ado, let's go over the build. So let's start with his ability called Study and Tamper. His ability is quite technical unlike other characters. You will have to gather knowledge studying objects around the map in order to tamper more effectively. So the first step, you need to acquire knowledge with the highlighted objects. Depending which object you are studying, you will obtain a certain amount of knowledge that can be stored. Before you interact with the exit gate, make sure that you inspect the object in order to store additional knowledge. Next step, once you open the exit gate, proceed to tamper. Then apply the knowledge that you gather in order to make the minigame easier. Keep in mind that applying knowledge is optional, but it also will deplete completely if you choose to use it. Lastly, finish what is remaining from the tamper minigame. Be mindful when you're spamming the button during the minigame because you can cause self-damage and lose all the progress that you have done on that specific bar. And after the tampering is done, it will take quite long in order to family members be able to reset the object. Keep in mind that you don't need to store knowledge to temper objectives. However, it will take a long time doing so. I'm working my way up to level 3, but I already know which perks I'm gonna grab from his ability. The first one is gonna be temper minigame easier to make the minigame easier when you temper in items. Next, we're gonna equip knowledge gather increase. This is gonna increase the knowledge that you get from starting objects up to 60%. So it's gonna make it way easier to temper objectives. So we're gonna put that point in there. And lastly, instant study. So this will cut down any downtime from starting objects, especially when you're doing vault tanks or generators. It's going to be just instant. So we don't have to expose ourselves tampering that a specific object. So that's going to be his best ability skill tree path. However, the other ones, level three are quite interesting, like object highlighted in, in order to like find objects easier, especially if you want to get the big ones. And then if you want to let people know that you are tampering something, you can use your other focus. So it's quite cool, his ability. Uh, I feel like it's, it has creativity in it. And uh, depends on how you want to play, you, at least all of them are usable. But Instant Story is the best one that he has on level 3. As for the perks, we're going to start with Fast Hand. This perk is actually quite busted, especially in Family House, where you actually have a family member within... 10 meters this increased 100 percent your progress for each tap on your lock picking minigame so if you're trying to open a door and there's a family member near you you promise you're gonna blast through that door like he's you were connie however it's a high risk high reward because maybe you might try to greet that door and maybe baba is coming at you and you might try to pull it off but it might get you killed so be careful you know it's a very powerful perk i think it's the strongest right now in the game Next, we're going to have Shoot Flight. This will refill your bar once you deplete your whole stamina up to three times. And then I have highly skilled in this build to increase our proficiency up to seven points. And for the attributes, we're going to increase our endurance up to 40 to protect our Shoot Flight stacks. Next, we're going to increase our strength to 24 to decrease the time when we turn it off a generator, but also bias time to be able to tamper the object afterwards. And then in order to make fast sign even more powerful, we're gonna have 50 proficiency. This is gonna blast through doors, even if the family members are not near you, but if they happen to be near your fast sign, it's just gonna be insanely cracked and you'll be able to blast through any door without any problems. Now, the good thing that Danny already has 25 styles, this is gonna make it easier to gather tools without making noise. Since now knowing is a little more punishing, with Danny you want to be more stealthy in order to gather knowledge without being seen because you're gonna kinda have a lot of downtime uh, during the match gathering knowledge in order to temper uh, the objectives. Danny right now has the best distribution attributes in the game so you can play this character however you want and be proficient with him. Now for the skill tree we're gonna start in the middle, we're gonna grab fast hand which is right here. Then you have two randomized spots where you can grab extra drip if you want to use it or shoes fly which is right now the one that we're using this build we're gonna go all the way to the right to grab head start and more attribute points and then lastly we're gonna get highly scaling here you also have another randomized spot that you can grab either agitator or slippery and then you go all the way to here this is gonna grant you 32 points which is quite useful for this build and right now the most that i have been having most to serve with him 
All right, guys, this is the build. Consider subscribing for more build videos. Leave a like and let me know all your thoughts about Danny in this comment section below. Also, consider following me on Twitch. And I'm gonna leave you some Danny gameplay. Until the next one. Peace. All right, guys, we're back to another TCM video. This time we got boy Danny here. That's insane. Come on, I gotta do something. Oh, yeah, I want to see, I want to show you guys how busted this thing is. Look, the hands. <laughs> oh my god, insane perk. Better than Connie, bro. Crazy. Look at this. This is busted. If somebody's nearby, I get very much Connie power for free. So you wanna uh, inspect items to pretty much um, gain, st store some knowledge, and then you can just temper uh, oh object with it. Thank God, something I can actually use. This is coming back. Alright, open this. Open. Oh, this oh, he didn't see me. <sighs> oh shit, Johnny's here. What the hell, bro? What's going on here? I'm going up, bro. Hopefully, the Nancy's not there because. Come on. Now where are you squirming? Let me see if I can get it up. This constant running around is getting a little tiresome. Get uh, away from me right now. Nobody ever said like there's things in it. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> what? She didn't got. That's bullshit, man. All right, all right, we out. God, I hope this works. They may open the stuff and then we can focus on where she she left. Yeah, she left. She get up, I think. Yep. Perfect. This looks I mean spec. Hopefully she she just somewhere. gave up. Nice. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna tamper as soon I open it, so it takes longer. Okay. okay. So I applied the knowledge. There you go. And now I finish the mini game. You have to be careful to not uh, hit yourself. You can not only damage yourself but also reset the progress. Yeah, Nancy gave up. Some more knowledge here. Okay, that'll do it. 
Alright, got it. Uh, battery's open, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was disgusting. I'm not sorry about that. That is disgusting. Just... Can I get boom? Oh, nice. Let's see if I can hold Julie. Pay attention. I have to be quieter. <laughs> no, she died. Let me see if I can help. Um... Is this still temperate? I think it did. It's, it still does. Yep, look at that. It's still temperate. So it takes up. If I temper this stuff, any any object, it takes. Look, it's, I'm, it's still not able to reset. Alright, guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace.